The Advertising Regulatory Council of Nigeria is pushing to promote Nigeria as a brand and evaluate the worth of a country's advertising market. To this end, the council has established two committees to drive the project. While the Committee on Brand Nigeria is headed uh, by Mr. Steve Babaiko, the president of the Association of Advertising Agencies of Nigeria. The second committee is headed by Mr. Femi Adelusi, the president of uh, Media Independent Practitioners Association of Nigeria. The Brand Nigeria concept is an initiative of the industry as the committee will look to Nigeria as a brand, develop a campaign towards repositioning it. The committee will take a detailed look at the elements and DNA of Brand Nigeria and come up with a communication for it. Let's talk more about this. And the head of one of the committees of this project, Nigeria, Brand Nigeria, is a chief executive officer, a chief creative officer, Extreme Ideas, also president, Association of Advertising Agencies of Nigeria, Mr. Steve Abaiko. Thank you so much. It's good to have you in the studio. Thank you. Tony. I'm excited. My two guests are in the studio today. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's, good. it's a good way to start the week. I'm always happy to be here. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah. Should we start with the conference first? Yes. The conference in its entirety. Um, you know, many will say when you're having a conference this year, you say, what was the takeout last year and how prepared are you for this very one? Well, I mean, uh, shout out to ACON, Advertising Regulatory Council of Nigeria, and the DG, uh, Dr. Laleko Fadulapo. Yeah, Fadulapo. Uh, he, he brought Every, all the eggheads in the communication space together across all of the ecosystem of marketing communication. So we had the, first, uh, the, uh, the advertising uh, conference last year in yeah. Abuja. Yeah. And part of the takeout for last year was Brand Nigeria, which we are also trying to tackle now in preparation for, for the forthcoming uh, 2023 edition of the advertising conference. So you can see that we're trying to follow through on all of the... Uh, agreements reached at the last conference so that's wow. what we're doing all there. right so that's where we that's where that is exactly. from so let's talk brand nigeria Absolutely. now oh, project tell us more about this project and expectations well i mean before now usually the practice is to wait for the government to like maybe take the initiative but sometimes you really can't wait for government to do everything uh we have competent people who live and drink and wake and sleep uh branding and communication in this country and Top of that list is the uh, Association of Advertising Agencies of Nigeria, you know, amongst all the other sectoral groups like MIPAN, OAN, mm -hmm. ADVAN, and everybody. So we felt that, look, this is it's time for us to, to just come together, the entire ecosystem come together, and, and just take, seize the initiative and just do something about this country. Because the thing is, uh, the country does not lift, need lifting up when it's already high. Mm -hmm. So if the country is in... In not such a great place like we've seen economically over the past couple of uh, years now. It, I think it's time for us to be able to stand up and say, look, what can we do, especially from corporate Nigeria, to support the government in lifting up the country so that it, it, it's just about, there's uh, Napoleon, I think it was, that said, a leader is a dealer in hope. What this country needs right now is a lot of hope, and it can come from branding and creating all of the right messaging for this great country of ours. A lot of issues also, also you guys are looking at, uh, you're also looking at industry spending, Absolutely. contribution to yeah. GDP. How well has your sector been able to twist all of these big, big figures around as the dollars coming in? Well, the, th the truth is that uh, I think that sector is actually the, one of the most underrated sectors when it comes mm. to contribution to GDP, you know. And like I always said, even when you have a country like South Africa that has a much more lower GDP than that of Nigeria, the advertising space is six times bigger than that of Nigeria. So now, we will now want to relook the entire numbers and see what are, in terms of Naira and Kobo, mm. in terms of, let's go binary on these things, how much is the contribution of the advertising industry to the, glo to the global GDP of, of the country? And that's, that's a very interesting project we are also tackling mm. uh, in preparation for the, for the next conference. Mm. Interesting. Stay with Brand Nigeria again. Sure, sure. Some, will, some will talk about uh, the way some people would use the word bad mouth our mm. country sure, outside sure, sure. the shores. And you see that sometimes they'll say, oh, as a Nigerian, no, you have to double check your passports yeah, and all yeah, of sure, that. Sure. So I I'm thinking that there needs to be this attitude of now change even amongst us as Nigerians, mm. uh, you know, to push this drive. So what, what uh, I'm looking at, what steps are you guys going to take? I know you're going to use the creative yeah. way and all of that, yeah. but can you just hint us some? Well, you know, well, all of the kind of the back. Fortunately for us in our space, the creative does not work in a vacuum. Mm. So usually, if it was any of the other brands that you know, I don't want to advertise any brand on your show. 
it's if you're taking on a project like that to 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 do something for that brand, yes. you do what you call a SWOT analysis. What are the strengths okay. of the of the brand? What are the weaknesses? What are the opportunities? What are the threats? Obviously, there are so many weaknesses we have as a country. There are so many threats we have as a country. Mm -hmm. But there's also so many strengths we have, which you can see globally, how well, in terms of the creative space, how, how many young Nigerians have turned the Nigerian culture, the Nigerian music, into the hegemonic culture of the world. So back in the days, people used to look up to black America in terms of leading the, 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 that space, in terms of driving culture. But now, you can say, arguably, that Nigerian culture is their culture that drives that global space. Everybody is cool to be Nigerian, especially when you talk about music. Now, what are our weaknesses? You can still see the issue of insecurity, the issue of uh, the, the falling standard of the, yeah. of the Naira and yeah. all of the other things. We have economic, all the short-term things that Mr. Agbaje rightly pointed out. We need to, the government has to find a way to address those things. If not, the entire impact of the messaging might not have its full benefit. Mm. Uh, but uh, you're in a, an industry that is um, under regulation, sure. uh, of course, and many talk about regulations and all, all of that. What, what more are you expecting? That handshake between all of your associations under the advertising agency uh, and industry. Yeah. I know you're going to uh, Ministry of Information and sure. Communication sure. Technology and also um, inform Ministry of Information. Sure. Now, how has that relationship been, that handshake between your, you guys and then are they also uh, playing with you in the forthcoming conference? We're hoping uh, the new minister, will, yeah. he's just, uh, he just came in now, so he needs to settle down, but we've been engaging him oh, one way or another. Of yeah. course, we can't do this without him. Uh, we expect that uh, he will provide some quality leadership in driving all of this project forward. But what we, we need to do is, especially for the people who are the brand custodian, mm -hmm. it is in the interest of corporate brand, especially brands that operates in Nigeria, for us to have a much more powerful brand Nigeria. And I'll tell you why. For most of other great countries that have done this before, you see that there's a way that the brand of the country drops off on local brands. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an yeah. example. Germany, for instance, is known for precision engineering. Therefore, there's the, you can see the direct correlation between a German-made cars BMW, Volkswagen, and all of those things, how they are respected, by, especially by people who love cars. Mm. Mm. If you talk about Singapore and how the, in terms of how they value their service, quality of their service, it's mostly dri driven by Singapore Airlines, the Singapore Girl, all of those branding. Was, so it is time for corporate brands in Nigeria to come to the table so that we can all do this together because it is in our interest. If we're able to create an iconography for this country that becomes global, where beyond all of the negativity that they associate brand Nigeria with, if we can take a spin at that and create some positive narrative, and if we don't create it, trust me, nobody's going to create it for us. It is in the interest of all of the people who look at us and don't like us much to, create, to continue to dwell on the negative narrative. It is in our own interest that we begin to generate new stories that we can tell to the whole world that this is Nigeria and these are the things we can offer to the world. But well, the industry is really doing well now. Let, let's, talk, let's talk a bit about Absolutely. what's been happening, yeah. uh, awards and all of that yeah, for yeah, you yeah. in recent yeah, times. Yeah. What's the update and what, what's cooking uh, oh. for, uh, at Extreme Media? Well, I mean, for, for us at Extreme, shout out to the team at Extreme Ideas. Uh, we, we, we've taken Nigeria to the center of the world this year by winning the first Can Lion yeah. Uh, yeah. for the West Africa. We just won the Loris. We won uh, the Lisbon Advertising Festival wow. like, about a week and a half ago. So... Uh, we've been winning all of these global awards, but it's not just even about extreme. I think it's, part, it's almost all, it's about all of the other great agencies within the AAA fold who are also doing fantastic work for local clients and winning uh, international awards as well. So I think the advertising industry in Nigeria has come of age, and uh, I'm really, really excited about the future, what the future holds for the industry. I, I hope and by the way, AAA also just released a song to celebrate Nigeria on the 63rd anniversary. So wow. it's Triple A and featuring Kobam Sasuko. Wow. That song is already going viral everywhere wow. now and where. Because we just have to celebrate our country. We have our challenges, no doubt about it. Uh, we, have, we believe that the present government will be able to address some of those challenges. But we have to look beyond politics and partisanship to be able to say, look, this country is the only thing we have and we can't go anywhere else. We have to fix it. Practicing advertising too. I wanted to add that. I hope you guys are looking at weeding out, you know, because you need 
core professionals in this space. So how are you, what are you doing, AAA and other associations, to make sure that professionals are the ones practicing? So we don't have all of these issues that we continue to have. Absolutely. And, and I think that's where uh, the DG of ACON, Dr. Laliko Fadilakwa, mm -hmm. should get his flowers right now. He's done a lot in terms of being able to sanitize the industry. Wow. New the regulation, new legislation. The former president signed the uh, review, revised uh, ACON uh, law. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we have a much more powerful law that can help us uh, keep everybody on the straight and narrow. And we're looking forward to seeing a much more sanitized uh, advertising space going into the future. Mm. Mm. So, one more challenge is what are, what, what are some of the basic challenges that you need? Well, you know, I always like, I always, uh, because one way or the other, no matter how good it looks, there are some challenges. Even in the media industry, uh, we have our, you know, uh, the broadcasting space, I can put it that. Sure. You know, we have our challenges too. Yeah. But just let's highlight some of them and how are we getting through them. Well, I mean, there are lots of challenges, obviously. I mean, uh, Mr. Agbaje spoke to a lot of all of yeah. the macro the economic, economic issues. issues and all of the economic it headwinds. If, if it affects the client and they are affecting the bottom line of our clients. Mm. So if the client is hurting, then we in the advertising space already we are almost comatose. So uh, we have serious challenges in that area. We are hoping that in the short medium term we'll be able to overcome most of the economic challenges and then we can begin to see the industry thrive. And another major challenge we have again is the jackpot syndrome. Yes. It's affected the bank, it's affected the tech space. Of course it hasn't spared the advertising industry and I think it goes beyond even just staff living, mm. it affects even the owners of businesses living. So if one staff leaves, it's one job that's lost. But if the owners of businesses leave, it's, it's a, you, hundreds of jobs are affected. So I think these are some of the major problems we are uh, facing at the moment. But uh, it, I'm, a, I'm an optimist. I believe we're going to go past this one as well. Before I let you go, uh, the sure. theme is marketing communications as an enabler of national transformation. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you expect at the end, let me now say now, at the end of this conference, what message do you think or what do you think will be taken from well, us? Well, branding and as well as communication is, is, a, is a journey. There's no final destination for it, True. which is why you see brands that are as old as 150 years still advertising in 2023. Yeah. <laughs> so, but That's again, true. what I expect to see is that we've, a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step, at least by the time this takes off, we'll have taken that first step towards like rebranding this country, doing all of the attitudinal changes, changes that are required with, within our polity, and hopefully get the government to buy in and also do their own side of the, of the, of the bargain, which is uh, maybe uh, create a much more safer space, create a much more prosperous country by addressing all of the fiscal and monetary policies that, that, that needs to be addressed. And hopefully the, 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 what Nigeria means internationally and even in our in country that that, that that thing should change that mindset needs to but change. trust me i mean no matter how much we like to say how much nigeria likes yeah to yeah, yeah you know, we're doing great things we love we, great we things. love being nigerians yes. most nigerians yes, love being too. nigerians you know and you will see the true test when you really meet nigerians outside yeah. the country yeah. or maybe as a, another country maybe citizens of another country try to attack nigeria on the on on cyberspace the way Nigerians banded together to, to fight back yes, fight shows back. you that innately we really love the country, but certain challenges that are facing the country are just what Nigerians want the government to address. And once we do that, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll head to a good space. Interesting conversation with you as usual. Any outlook? Yes, it's always good to have an outlook. You know I'm a business person. Sure, I always like sure, to project. Sure. So what are you thinking of moving on for the industry and, of course, well, the economy? For some reason, I really, really believe that all of the right things that should be done are what this government is doing. Mm. And if we can only just... I, I, I want to be optimistic and see that let us be consistent in all of the remedies we're given. If the subsidy has been removed, let's not sneak it back through the back door. Let's be consistent with these policies and see them yield fruit. So I'm really, really optimistic that in the medium to long term, uh, Nigeria is going to be a great place again. I must thank you so thank much. You. I've thank been so speaking much. to Mr. Steve Babaiko, President Association of Advertising Agencies of Nigeria, uh, Chief Executive Officer, Chief Creative Officer, Extreme Ideas. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tolu. Uh, thank you for having me. Have a great week. Thank you so All much. All right, then. Yeah.